What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today we are going to be counting down the top 10 Black Series figures of 2023. Justin, we're already here. Can you believe it? 2023 is almost over. True. Another year in the books. Another amazing year for the black series one of the best if not the best year for the line and i think 2024 is going to be even better yeah looking ahead us prequel fans we're going to be eating good next year so oh, yes. bring it on we are starting it with mainline wave 35 which is like the andor wave mm -hmm. because we got wave 34 last year like the darth maul clone wars wave mm -hmm with Ayla Sakira. Right. We considered that a 2022 wave. It was on our top 10 last year. So we're going wave 35 all the way to the most recent wave, which was the pre Visla Maroc wave and everything in between. So 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, all the deluxe stuff, any and all exclusives. Yep. It's all fair game of 2023. We have a master list on our Discord. So join that Discord as well and hit like on this video and subscribe if you are new we are always talking about star wars the black series here on the channel nate continuing with our new annual tradition our new rule one honorable mention just one there were so many great figures this year and mm. of course we would love to hear what your top 10 black series figures of 2023 are in the comments down below because there were just so many amazing figures this year. Mm -hmm. I know that the lists are going to vary pretty wildly, mm -hmm. I think. But let's start it out with the honorable mention, and that is Darth Vader Duel's End. One of the best likenesses mm -hmm. in the Black Series, which is kind of strange to say because, you know, we really only see like a sliver yeah. of the likeness, but it is mm -hmm. just so good. They really nailed the Vader hating Christensen. Absolutely, and I love the detail on yeah. this figure. It uses the butterfly joints from the Empire Strikes Back mm -hmm. body. We got vertical hinges on both wrists. Right. And there's some great detail of like the battle damage, you know, not just the helmet, which yeah. is great, like the proportions on that helmet are excellent, mm -hmm. but also the battle damage on the chest box. And they even went the extra mile and did a little cut on the back of the figure yeah. with a sculpted cut and the soft goods matches so you could like line it up mm -hmm. with the detail on the hard plastic on the back with the cape which is so awesome All right very surprising that they mm. would do something like that on the back of the figure but yeah it's an amazing release but it is also mostly just another darth vader figure so while yeah. it is great I feel like there's just some other figures this year that were just way more important and new. Yeah, if they would just give Vader new legs, he would have made the list. Oh yeah. Time to retire the 20, what, 13, 14 Vader legs. Oh yeah, the Vader legs have never changed. Coming in at number 10 might be a controversial pick, Ooh. but it's the Endor Rebel Soldier, the Commando. You know, if you would have asked me where this figure was going to land on our top 10 list bef at the beginning of this year, I would have been like, oh, probably top three. Yeah. I <laughs> really can't believe that when we were formulating the list, it was really like the Endor Rebel. It's an amazing figure, brand new sculpt. You know, mm -hmm. we love it. Um, but there's just minor things that hold it back. Yep. Aside from the legs should have been cast in a different color, like should have cast it in green, mm -hmm. should have came with soft goods, like a trench or a cloak or the jacket, something. But at the end of the day, it is a lot of paint for a Black Series figure. I'm not talking colored plastic. I'm talking about actual paint applications here. Right. There is still quite a bit of paint for a Black Series figure. Mm -hmm. And it still looks awesome, and it does exactly what I need it to do, which is stand there next to all the other Ewoks and the Heroes of Endor characters, and it just works so well to flesh out that scene. Considering the Hoth Rebel Soldier is one of our favorite Black Series figures of all time, uh -huh. it was a slight letdown, yeah. but still on the list, and we both agreed, we're like, no matter what, Endor Rebel, number 10. Yeah. 
And number nine here is Wicket, which is just such a fantastic figure. Mm -hmm. Finally, we got Wicket, the main Ewok. It's kind of weird that they led with Tebow, Paplu, <laughs> and now Wicket. Yeah. New sculpt. New sculpt. And hey, remember also when this figure came out, we were like, it won't make it on the top 10 list. Mm -hmm. But here it is, Wicket standing strong because it is just that good of a figure. It's a perfect representation of Wicket. And the figure has paint. Yeah. And again, you know, talking about paint again, some people get confused between colored plastic and actual paint applications, which Wicket has plenty of, uh -huh. probably because he's a smaller figure, but the glossy black for the eyes, there's paint all up on his fur, his lips, the there's a dark wash on like the cloth, like clothing, there's a dark wash on it. Oh, we don't get dark washes. Yeah. You know us here at Out of the Basement. We loved a good dark wash yep. on our figures. Yeah, and the articulation, although it's a little limited, mm. it still allows you to pretty much do whatever you'd like to do with this Wicket figure. And most importantly, you know, he comes with the bow and mm -hmm. can actually hold the bow and aim it with both hands. So, true. you know, he's articulated enough to do that. Mm -hmm. And so, to me, I feel like the figure was a massive success. And I, I love Wicket, one of my faves. I as well. And for a top 10, we also go by how much we needed the character. True. You know, it, it's not all about paint, articulation, details. It's also just about the importance of getting the character into the line. And when it delivers, we really like that. Coming in at number eight is Darth Maul Old Master, a good old gaming greats figure. Yeah, I feel like if it was a brand new sculpt, head to toe, probably would be a little bit higher on the list, mm -hmm. but just for the sake that it is slight reuse, you know, we kind of had to hold it back a little bit, mm -hmm. but honestly kind of blew my mind a little bit. I wasn't expecting it to be so new mm -hmm. because even compared to the Clone Wars Darth Maul, there's like significant differences, uh, even in the articulation, which means yes. that there's like a new torso or they've at least done some sort of new tooling on it to right. you know give you a little bit more articulation because this mall is the best articulated mall we've had in the black series period yeah, one of the, the cut at the midsection right one of the best ab crunches in the black series which of course you know you see the ab crunch on this figure you're like wow that's really not that impressive but for the black series mm. it's very impressive yeah and it makes it better than the clone wars darth maul yeah this pretty much this is without a doubt my favorite uh, Darth Maul that we have in the Black Series now. I think it's the best one. And my only wish was that, you know, we could have just gotten the little, like... The hood? The hood, just to throw <laughs> us a bone and make it a Rebels version. Although he does wear this exact costume... Very true. ...in Rebels. Very true. But the other look is more iconic. You want the hood. You want... You, you do know, want the hood. You want the hood. And this is going to perfectly lead into our next pick, which is number seven which is Doc Ondar, because I love having Old Master Maul po posed holding the Sith holocron, which comes with Doc Ondar. Yeah, Doc Ondar was huge for the line. This is a new, unique sculpt. Again, a new alien, never before seen in the Black Series, and it's an Ithorian, and they absolutely knocked this sculpt out of the park. He even has, like, decent articulation for oh. such an oddly shaped alien creature and like you said the accessories he comes with are awesome his soft goods are perfect might be one of the most perfect representations of soft goods in the entire line and all his little bits and medallions and there's like paint all yeah. over them and there's a lot of paint apps on the actual like the head of the figure uh -huh. all around banger i actually wasn't considering this until you graciously gifted me doc for my birthday uh -huh. opened it and i was like masterpiece yeah <laughs> i i was gonna say i'm happy to see you turn around so much on the figure yeah. not not that you disliked it or anything like that but you were like you know it's to both of us really it's like who is doc ondar yeah. i don't know who doc ondar is i've never been to galaxy's edge right now of course i've seen the animatronic but for mm. me it's just like star wars alien a thorian this is also a moma nadon pre-paint 
Yeah, which MoMA, aka Hammerhead, is coming. So it's just great that we finally got this species in the line. Yeah, and I just love that even though I don't know anything about Doc, in my mind, I've just, you know, I know that there's a lot of trinkets that he collects. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's all I really need to know. I'm like, ah, oh, he's just like a collector of things. Yeah, why not? And it's just fun to have on the shelf. I literally have him in the cantina. I as well. I literally put him in the cantina where he belongs. Yep. So he'll be there ready to hang out with Hammerhead mm -hmm. when the time comes. This year also brought us some excellent like Legends EU video gaming kind oh. of deep-ish cut characters. A lot of our most wanteds mm -hmm. were crossed off this year. Yep. And coming in at number six is Star Killer, specifically the deluxe super duper accessory <laughs> come set on. come on <laughs> star killer has been you know one of the most wanted figures of the black series community and they delivered in spades mm -hmm. the con exclusive set absolutely excellent the star killer himself new sculpt mm -hmm. new character but all of those accessories nate yeah you get so many different lightsaber blades, the lightning effect hands, the force push hands, the little base that has I just love like that the, base. It's like a Dragon Ball Z effect <laughs> yeah. base thing, but it's, you know, to replicate the original cover art. Mm. You also, you know, get a couple of stormtroopers that are basically accessories. True. But yeah, this set and figure is so good that I'm actually going to buy a single version so I can utilize yes. more of these accessories and put him, you know, just somewhere else in the display just because there's so much. Mm -hmm. All the alternate hands, alternate heads. Yeah, it really, we got the swoosh effect. The last time we got that was Count Dooku back in 2019 and then they just never did it again. Yep. They brought it back for this set. It's always nice to get extra hands, heads, and the figure itself, I love the detail. There's like blood. On this figure, is that like a first? I mean, Wampa. Finn had the three. Yeah. That's technically blood. But I don't know, like Disney has, bro. It's just, it was kind of surprising to see like red blood on the arms mm -hmm. of the figure. And it's just such an epic set. It almost needs no explanation yeah. of why this would be on our top 10. Yeah. It's Star Killer. Speaking of long time coming, but also massively delivering, number five is R2-D2, the 2023 yes. updated version. Yes. Whether it's in the Return of the Jedi box or the Mandalorian box, whichever one you want. You can't go wrong with it because this is just the perfect upgrade. Fix the scale issues. Yep. Included all of the accessories you could want. Although, you know, I, I do think maybe we could have got the boosters like the original figure fair enough but fair enough. i don't really care because actually my r2 is pretty vanilla when i actually end up posing i as well I, I like all of the accessories and all the different options i'm like oh all these scopes and everything it's so fun but yeah. at the end of the day when i put r2 on my shelf it's just plain old standing right next to 3po plain old vanilla r2 and yep. this figure's it's just a masterpiece in that regard. The accessory storage, that's like a first. I don't think any of the imports, the high-end imports, had anything like that. Yeah, and it's great, too, because those accessories are microscopic. True. We recently did a Black Series banger on this R2-D2, so check that out. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to ramble on and on about this yep. for 10 minutes. But like you said, I mean, we've waited a decade for a properly scaled R2, and this one delivered thank goodness now we're getting r5 and r4 i'm like pump them out pump them out pump them out <laughs> keep them going yep speaking of upgrades coming in at number four is the clone trooper phase two the plane grunt Ooh, yes. this is of course a 2023 upgraded version of the 2020 sculpt so this is 70 something percent new it has a fully painted head with a removable helmet. The helmet itself is new. The shoulder pads are larger and they are on the new O-ring system for better articulation that doesn't scrunch up the shoulder armor. 
It has bicep swivel. So for the first time in the Black Series, we got bicep swivel and butterfly joints. I think that's a first of having both. Could be, could be. The thighs are thicker, a little more theatrical looking. The knee pads finally fixed. Mm -hmm. What a godsend. The knee pads. Those, yeah. those really upset me. <laughs> this figure really fired on all cylinders. I mean, we knew the upgrade was coming, but I don't think any of us really knew how much of an upgrade it was going to be mm. until we actually got it in hand. You know, it started with Oppo, mm -hmm. which Oppo is a great figure, but we decided to specifically go phase two clone just because it's more of a well-rounded release. You know, the blue issue is not really holding it back. The only thing with this one is the weird five o'clock yeah. shadow facial hair detail but all they have to do running change no more five o'clock shadow just just get rid of that just weird five skip it shadow yeah oppo is also great because he does have more of the loose torso overlay yeah so i mean if you wanted to count both sure but if we had to choose one plain phase two we just yeah and i mean they we also haven't have, had that one in forever they also have one slightly different articulation point with the wrists true so true so to me they're like oh just different enough to be considered like yeah. two separate things that's but. totally fair and we haven't had a regular plane phase two since an amazon four pack from way back in the day yeah so when also bringing that into consideration the phase two plane makes total sense um just because now you don't have to buy a four pack with three subpar figures in it to get one yeah. decent figure and it is indeed a huge upgrade yeah. like it is a massive upgrade compared to the 2020 clone sculpt number three justin is another figure that was a long time coming ever since we got darth revan way back in the dark ages of the red and black box era true we also were like where is darth malik and we had to wait. We had to wait quite a bit of time. <laughs> Thank goodness we did though, because yeah. this figure is incredible. It absolutely delivers. Again, a brand new sculpt. Mm -hmm. He's a big, bulky boy. He Standard. Is. Yeah, for a regularly released fig. Yep, standing pretty tall, pretty significant, which is nice because you know we know Hasbro likes to go, oh, big, big character, deluxe. deluxe. So yeah. it was really surprising that Malik was actually a decent size, not deluxe. Of course, you only get the lightsaber, but mm. what an amazing job they did translating this character into an action figure. It's more based off of that, I think now actually officially canceled remake. Or did, or is, was that just fake news? Multiple conflicting sources? Who cares? Who cares? It's a great figure. Yeah, but it's you know it's not quite classic Kotor Malik because mm. it's not like a just plain jumpsuit, which I think is fine. I kind of like the new armored-ish look that it has to it. Yeah, his articulation is great. We're big fans of the deep cut single hinge with elbow swivel and then butterfly joints. It just works perfectly for lightsaber wielding characters, so he can wield his saber perfectly. And his likeness, I like how they handle like animated characters or characters from video games or even novels and comics. They mm -hmm. just do a really good job with it. And the detail on Malik's face, when you remove that thing and it's like his exposed, damaged jaw. Right. So awesome. And again, it was just nice to finally have another long awaited character check it off the list. And of course, Shout out to Bastila as well. She didn't yeah. she didn't quite make the cut, but Soft Goods too. Yeah, true. Soft Goods Kate. Number two is a long awaited Clone Wars design of a super iconic character. It's Ahsoka Tano hey. from the Clone Wars. This is like her season three Padawan look. And it is incredible. I never thought the day would come where we would get this specific look of the figure i thought the season seven clone wars one was it i thought that was just gonna be it mm -hmm. so it it's so such a great time to be a black series collector if you are like a prequel era clone wars fan of star wars and this figure is great it's another new sculpt mm -hmm. top to toe they kind of have a similar thing with the hidden butters where right. the butterfly joints are kind of just part of the overall 
design. It's not like, oh, that's a piece of articulation. Mm -hmm. The lightsabers, great. They they're kind of did a thing this year where they got rid of tie swivel on a few figures, which that is one of them. But I still think you can get her into some pretty dynamic poses. The face, perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect representation. I know you don't have this figure yet. I'm just agreeing so with you. So I'm like, I gotta <laughs> make like, all the talking points. I'm, a, I'm imagining in my head what it's like. It's just your classic. It's it's Ahsoka, but given the modern Black Series treatment, deep cut, single hinge, elbow swivel, butters. I already know that I'm gonna love the figure simply because she doesn't have the damn heels. Yeah. <laughs> on the figure. True. She actually has different feet, so she'll be able to stand which is going to be she, excellent she has not fallen over a single time Love since that. i have owned the figure love to hear it can't say the same for the other two right well for mando ahsoka yeah mando sure. ahsoka's fine but it was just so awesome to finally get this super iconic look of such a beloved character mm -hmm. absolutely excellent figure all right everyone it's time we're down to the wire here we have one more left what could be the Black Series figure of the year. Justin, play that royalty-free drum roll, please. Our number one Black Series figure of 2023 is, of course, Darth Malgus. You already knew. Yardy, no, <laughs> that this was going to be number one. Now, when I originally made that thumbnail with a little bit of clickbaity flair there, I didn't actually know if Malgus was going to be my figure of the year. True. But, but he is. Actually, <laughs> turned out to be true. So, yeah, this is a Gaming Greats Deluxe figure, a non-exclusive Gaming Greats, which, true. of course, I think is something that also began to happen this year, which I think is symbolizing that GameStop might not be around much longer, or at least not into the exclusive action figure game anymore. It's either that or since they're new sculpts, I think Hasbro just wants them in mainline so you don't limit it to just one store. Like you invest all that tooling and right. then you, you only have one store where you can get it. Because like Cal Kestis, another great figure. Ooh. Like a new sculpt gaming greats, they've been like mainline. Like Malik, Bastila from the top or waist up. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness they started doing new sculpts for gaming greats. And this is kind of what I was talking about earlier with like these deep cut, which I know it's like hearsay to say right. deep cut. Okay, SWOTOR, KOTOR, they're deep cuts. When you were talking about 100% of the Star Wars community, they're deep cuts. They're a little more niche. And I just think it's so awesome that they're dedicating brand new sculpts to these characters. Like they have faith in the community that they want these because we do want these. Darth Malgus is amazing. You guys know how we feel about big bulky boys in the Black Series. Right. We love them. Right. And especially when they can squeeze in such great articulation. And they really did. He's got the butterfly joints. He's got the deep cut elbows. Mm -hmm. Also a figure that doesn't have thigh swivel, but again, just like how you described Ahsoka, I feel like the range that you get out of the hip is still very good and you can still get some really nice poses out of him. Mm -hmm. Also one of the best hoods in the Black Series. Yes. Also randomly Black Series decided, hey, we understand hoods now this year <laughs> because we've gotten a few like really good, soft, good hoods yes. <laughs> yeah. this year. And uh, Malgus is great. I, they, you know, just a little bit of glue. Who would yep. have thought? It holds it down perfectly. You can remove his mask, which reveals an amazing photo reel application. Kind of a really oddly handsome. <laughs> it's Chad Malgus. Like handsome Squidward look. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, it's just such a fun figure to pose, mm -hmm. just to fiddle around with. Soft goods, perfect. Hood down, hood up. And I think another thing that speaks to the testament of this figure too, and I think it's worth mentioning, is you and I, no idea about Darth Malgus. <laughs> I've watched the cutscenes for yeah, the Old Republic, but I've never played the game. And it just goes to show you that sometimes you don't even need to be attached to the character to find that level of enjoyment 
in the figure itself because it's a badass sith lord just a badass sith lord big ass lightsaber true the lightsaber is actually a new tool the blade length yeah is a new tool yeah so they really went basically as far out as they could now maybe i would have liked a lightning hand or something like that of course but you and i were seasoned black series veterans so we we know (laughs) we know not to expect that stuff right you gotta set realistic expectations but i just again i just think it's so cool that such like non-new media mm-hmm. like he's not from some disney plus series and he's getting a new sculpt yep. it's not from the original trilogy or the mandalorian season three yeah no we're getting like darth malgus bastila darth malik star killer like how cool is that that's why i think like 2023 might be the best year for the line so far and that is it that is our top 10 of 2023 what do you guys think did we get it right are we on the money or are we dead wrong and it's time for us to own it i'm thinking own it we're dead wrong let us know your top 10 in the comments down below of course leave a like hit subscribe if you are new we're always talking about the black series here on the channel That's right. And if you are in a position to help support the channel, we do also offer a couple channel membership tiers. Definitely check those out if you can in the description down below as well. Big shout out and special thank you to all of our current channel members. Your continued support is truly appreciated. And thank you to everyone else out there for watching. I'm Nate. Join with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you all next time on Out of the Basement.